All right. Why did you only go to the 10th grade? Did I jump that? Why? Because there's like a lot of drama. All right. So let me explain to you about drama. Drama is you coming before the court and not addressing the court properly. Drama is using slang and not proper English coming before the court. All right. I'm going to want you to go do a UA today. And why are you sleeping in court? Okay, that doesn't even make any sense to me. Why are you staying at your friend's house? Yes. Why? Welcome back to Judge Boyd's courtroom, where today we encounter a couple of defendants who have arrived seemingly unprepared to face the scrutiny of the Honorable Judge. Our first case introduces a young man who arrives late, armed with what seems to be a rather pathetic excuse for his tardiness. Judge Boyd, known for her tough stance on accountability, wastes no time in questioning him about the choices he's making in life. Will this defendant be able to stand up to the judge's tough questions? Or will his actions speak louder than words? In our second case, this older gentleman, despite being long in the tooth, does not seem to have it together neither. He's been missing his appointments for urine analysis and is in the courtroom looking sleepy today. Judge Boyd, not one to overlook lapses in responsibility, aims to get to the bottom of his behavior. Will he have the proper answers to satisfy the judge's concerns? Stay tuned to find out. Fernando Cordova. All right, where are we on discovery? Uh, we've got the discovery judge. An offer has been tendered, and I just need to reset to go over the offer with my client, kind of go over things, make sure he understands. Uh, mom who hired me would also like to be in that meeting, so she'll, I'm sure she'll ask questions for things that he'll want to know. He just doesn't know to ask. All right, how old are you? 20. All right, Ms. Ferguson, I need a uh, one-month reset for this case plea deadline date. Uh, February 27th. All right, why were you late for court? I really don't got an excuse besides I got insomnia. I'm sorry, what? I really don't got an excuse, but I got insomnia. So he overslept, Judge, yeah. is what he's saying. All right. So here's the thing. You need to be on time for court. Otherwise, you know what's going to end up happening? Maybe Whether you're does. 20 or 18, guess what? We'll make sure that you come on time. If you're not on time, we'll know where you are. You know how we'll know that? I got my address. I'm sorry, what? I said y'all got my address. No, because you'll be in orange. <laughs> and we'll bring you over from the jail. You understand? Yes, ma'am. How far did you go in school? Uh, in school? Yes. Uh, to 10th grade. All right. Why did you only go to the 10th grade? Did I drop that? Why? Because there's like a lot of drama. All right. So let me explain to you about drama. Drama is you coming before the court and not addressing the court properly. Drama is using slang and not proper English coming before the court. So. My advice is you probably want to get your GED so that you can get a job because now it is hard to get good employment without at least a high school diploma. And even if you have a high school diploma, it's still hard. Guess what? People who go to college, and I'm not, not talking to people who go to college and they're getting a degree in philosophy finding a job. I mean, people who are going to college, getting a degree in engineering, biology, they're all having a hard time finding employment. So you come along and you don't even have a 10th grade education and you're trying to get employment. It does not look good. You understand? Yes, sir. Are you employed? I was employed. So that's a no, right? You're not working? No, ma'am. So that means that your mom or somebody is supporting you, right? Yes, ma'am. So when you come back here, on the 27th, you're going to come on time and you're going to address the court properly. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Maybe excuse me. Yes. Why don't you sign the reset form? Of course. Is there a warrant for Jimmy Richard Barrientos? That's 
That's good. Hello. Hi. Why have you missed all of your appointments with felony drug court? They tried to call you on December 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, and they emailed you on December 20th, the 22nd. No, felony drug court. Why did you miss your appointments with felony drug court? Okay. Let me ask you this. When you drug tested today, what are the results going to be? And you're going to get drug tested today. Okay. Uh, I'm going to want him drug tested today and they can do it at the facility. If that drug test is positive, what's going to end up happening is a motion to revoke is going to be filed. Do you understand? Uh, Ms. Abrams. Was he positive? For his previous results, because according to the conditions, it says that if he was positive on the 18th, then he was going to safety. All right, we're going to see what she says. Okay. All right. I'm going to want you to go do a UA today. And why are you sleeping in court? Okay, that doesn't even make any sense to me. Why are you staying at your friend's house? Yes. Why? So she's staying at your house because of your... Oh, so she won't stay at your house because of your dog. So this is your girlfriend? Okay. All right. You're going to do a drug test today, and you're going to do it at the facility. If it's positive, a warrant's going to be issued for your arrest. Do you understand? Um, Ms. Abrams, can we get a drug test for him done today? Yes, Judge. And is there anything else that's needed of him? Want to do about the drug court evaluation? Um, let's re refer him to felony drug court. If you miss an appointment with them, then what's going to end up happening is a warrant's going to be issued for your arrest. A warrant should be issued for your arrest right now because you missed your appointments. No, no, and I want you to do this for me. Stop moving the goalposts on me. At first, I asked you, why did you miss these appointments? Then you tell me you didn't know. And now you're telling me, I thought since I tested negative, I didn't have to do A, B, or C. So this is what I'm telling you right now. You're going to be re-referred back to felony drug court. If you miss one of those appointments with them, a warrant is going to be issued. You're going to take a drug test today. If that drug test comes back positive, a warrant's going to be issued and a motion to revoke is going to be filed. Do you understand? Are we clear on everything? Uh, probation will let you know. Uh, probation, is there anything? All right, thank you. All comments, viewpoints, interpretations, and insights expressed in this video are for education and entertainment purposes. All individuals featured in the video are to be presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Please do not attempt to contact, locate, or engage with any individuals featured in the video.